hello hello my people welcome and welcome back to my channel yes thank you so much for watching always you are doing a great job watching me yes uh, for those of you who have not subscribed endeavor to subscribe like and share yeah give a video a like if you haven't already don't just watch please just give a video a like yeah so that you can support your girl you can as well share this video yeah because this video is really very important now today i have a topic that everyone else is kind of neglecting yeah some of us buy land all of you wherever you are you build houses i know you know that i'm coming live from uganda east africa so right now i'm specifically in a place called bukasa yeah in uganda muyenga bukasa there are a lot of plots that they are selling and this is not only happening here but you, if you know that you have ever bought land, you know what I'm talking about. If you know that you've bought land near a wetland, definitely you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes wetlands may not show that they are wet, but later, you know, uh, if there is a sign of wetland, they will always assume their position or their area. Now today I'm here to warn you, I'm here to encourage you, I'm here to uh, inform you that never buy land never buy land during dry season if this land is next to a lake if the land is next to uh, a river or a swamp never buy land during dry season because you'll never know what the truth is all about yeah so today i visited i visited a friend around here but i was so so disappointed i was so hurt i nearly felt like crying i know you're gonna feel the same thing after seeing what i'm trying to show you can you imagine getting all the money buy the land and then build your own house and then later the house is soaking wet not even soaking wet like the entire house is soaking in water just imagine your entire family you you know you worked all your life bought the land built the house and then later it's all soaking wet this is not right now this is what you should do let me just um first i've issued a warning never buy land next to a wetland next to a lake next to uh, a river an ocean in dry season in most cases uh, these people sell us land uh, when it is totally dry yeah they sell us land when it's totally dry you don't know what is really happening that time you don't know uh, you don't know what is happening that time they are selling you land you think everything is okay you're happy you're next to the uh, to, to the beach you feel like you have a beach ho a, a beach house <laughs> or a beach hotel my dear later when it rains you'll get to understand what it is so if you to buy this kind of land I you know I just encourage you to wait until it's a rainy season go visit that land and see what happens when it's raining is my house gonna soak wet later sometimes this kind of land is very cheap just wonder you know before buying land, go somewhere have a value you know get a value while check out on your land and see okay this kind of land that I'm buying they are selling to me at this kind of amount does it really fit sometimes they are getting away from you know from the problem they got okay now I don't want you to have the same problem right now I'm gonna show you what is happening around here this is so bad I feel so bad for these people and uh, I, I, I pray that at least they overcome I pray they overcome let me just show you what is happening right now now let me start with this wetland you see that is the entire wetland we have trees just above there and then we have houses there look at the house part of the house is soaking wet the perimeter wall you know sometimes they sell it so cheaply but then later you forget that the natural disasters will come for you look at that now we have this one here look at that house there you look at the house with red sheets iron sheets it's in water look at this one here just next to me look at it they no longer use this park so they had to demolish the other side so that they can come uh pass their vehicles and all that anyway they no longer use their vehicles i think they keep them somewhere come and 
pass this is so weird look at that now that is the problem of buying uh, your plot during dry season next to a wetland this is so bad i tell you i don't like it one bit now look at this one so much in water look at that oh my god this is so bad people it is scary you know i just imagine how much and now they have another plot beyond there so i'm so i'm so look at all those beautiful houses look at that you see in water now look i can't believe this now you know what will happen if someone is owning this kind of land definitely they are working so hard to make sure they sell it off but how are they going to do that they cannot do it in a wet season what they are going to do they are going to sell it in a dry season you see and when you come then you're going to be the next victim look so please in the comment box below if you're planning to buy land just tell me you have helped me understand that we are not supposed to buy that kind of land because later you're gonna be surprised you'll be surprised look at the neighborhood the neighborhood is so beautiful you know it's so tempting it's really tempting look at that hmm. oh no i'm so sad these people had a family the family is no longer staying here the house is all soaking wet look at that okay I was just so surprised seeing all that water you know very very surprised but anyway I'm not gonna say it's okay uh, to me it's not fine it's not fine so whoever is planning to buy land seriously speaking I remember uh, last year I had a friend who wanted to buy uh, land next to water but not just next to water okay she wanted to have a beach house yeah so it was kind of a river but little did she know that there was a, um, a swamp also like behind her land and then after some time when when the rivers and the lakes were rising she found her house into water now the same thing is happening here in Bukasa. You know, houses are soaking wet. And I don't think that's what we really want. You know, when we are uh, making money to make our ends meet, buy stuff, buy houses. You know, I, I felt so bad when I saw this family. The lady is so depressed. The children are depressed. Now they are renting. You don't want that to happen to you. You know, yeah, I'm just in a car and I have some people with me around here. I'm gonna show you who they are say hello hello, hello. this is tanya babs please continue subscribing liking tatian g connect to you g and go to tanya babs and subscribe like and share okay yes okay we have brenda hello guys how are you so how are you all of you how are you doing my name i'm going to be brenda ug uganda i'm here subscribe yeah. like comment okay guys i'm soon bringing you brenda and brenda skip uh, the ads please yeah they shouldn't skip the ads yeah because that's the only way they support us yeah, yeah so when you watch the ads people you are supporting us uh, because you know when the ads are playing definitely we get revenue okay now uh, yeah i think uh, that's precisely why i came down here to show you what i wanted to show you it is so outside yes and another thing uh, i think but also buying land on hills is also another problem because we have landslides oh my god we have landslides so you have to keep that in mind uh, as much as we say don't buy land next to wetlands uh, still i don't advise you to buy land next to hills 
there's a hill up here where they are you know extracting so i mean like stones all the time all the time i believe sooner or later a tragedy will happen i tell you and their plots sometimes tend to be very cheap so when you come uh of course you're enticed to buy Hmm. these areas are so beautiful let me show you the areas where i am seriously speaking you'll be so 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 astonished you know very astonished not like when you get to know what is happening there let me just show you so um that's the neighborhood you see that The neighborhood is so beautiful, seriously. So when you're buying a home next to Bukasa, like I told you, be careful. Be careful with the wetlands, okay? Don't buy land when it is uh, dry season. Because now, if you buy land when it's dry season, you will not know. Okay, that's why I told you don't buy land when it is dry season. Yeah, this is how beautiful the place looks like. But down there, I tell you, you're gonna face it rough later when your house is seriously soaking in water. Okay, Uganda is very beautiful as long as you buy land in the very rightful places that you need to stay some of you you need your retirement homes in uganda endeavor to look for the best companies to buy land from i don't expect you uh, to make a mess and nowadays there are a lot of land grabbers that are really going on yeah around the world not only africa i believe around the world so endeavor to get the right people to buy your own land because later you may regret okay, now, tanya yeah i i, I wanted to uh, us to have this conversation. Mm. Uh, I remember next to our home, mm. yeah, there is a, a place that has been sold three times. Yes. Because the owner Why is abroad. Four times. Four times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the owner is abroad. Mm. So I don't know how they fought land titles, seriously. Mm. Mm. But one thing is for sure, you have to be very careful before buying land. Mm. I think they need to go and make. Um, a research, a research. Mm. yeah make it in fact make a research who the owner is the rightful owner is yeah. and then later go and make a search in the land board yeah find out use your lawyers to make a search mm. find out is yes. this the rightful owner of this land because it's so absurd the owner of this land they are selling like four times they are selling them like beans yeah four times four times and you know the rightful owner of this land title is abroad yeah this is so weird very weird it people is uganda is so beautiful let me show you look at that talking about people who buy land in, uh, on on hills yeah we have one of the hills there where they are um, like uh, let me just show them yeah there's a hill there where they're trying to extract um, stones that one is gonna be a problem in future I know because there are a lot of houses built around there so someday we may have a landslide you don't want to have that also keep that in mind when you're buying land
still coming uh, from Uganda, East Africa. Thank you so much for supporting us, people. It feels good to be supported. Okay, uh, still, I would say, if you haven't subscribed, please endeavor to subscribe, like, and share. Okay, we are just going to this beautiful hotel where we're gonna uh, find out about Brenda. We need to make uh, Brenda they are going to make a, an online party for Brenda that's why um, we're here shortly as we continue such a beautiful hotel I, I always have some tea here this hotel has appeared in my videos time without number so let's see yeah let's see okay Let's go, come out. Leave everything there. Yeah, teacher today. Yeah, this is where <laughs> this is where we are now. We want to make something for Brenda. Yeah, we wanna make a party for Brenda. Brenda once again. Hello guys, how are you? Wait. Hello guys, how are you? How are you how is everyone doing? We thank God for your gift of your life. We are here with Dr. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Tash. TNT Connect TNT UG. TNT Connect UG. Okay. Uh, we are here. We came to see these beautiful places where we are going to have our online parties. Online uh, party. I'm going to be happy, guys. This is okay. my day. This is your day. <laughs> she calls it her day. Really, that's gonna be her day, Tanya. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon, good evening, and for tomorrow, good morning. Okay. I'm your girl Tanya Babs. Please go there and subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to support T and T. Continue supporting her love. Give her love. Okay. Please. Okay. Mm. Okay, now we will be going down there to the reception to find out uh, what do we really want to find out. Oh, <laughs> I love the gardens here, guys. I really love the garden. Such a beautiful place. I love chilling here in the evening, do my work, take some coffee. It's not far away from home. So I love this place. Such a beautiful place. So it's in Mienga. If you really want to uh, come, enjoy, have a good time. Yeah, it's International Hotel Mienga. So we're gonna find out how much exactly they have uh, the cake has to cost us for Brenda for the online party. Then we'll find out what we really want. You see how beautiful the place is? Very beautiful, guys. Very beautiful. Look at that. Sunny. Let's get someone and find out. Our place is always here waiting for us. I'm always here, guys. Yeah, we always make a reservation here, sit down, have a good time. So, that is how beautiful this place looks like. We are done the reservation of Brenda's uh, cake. Right now, let's go to my organization, Rapper Center One. I'm expecting guests uh, from United States and India. We're gonna welcome them. Yeah, and some of them are sponsors. So let's go and see what is happening. Hello, my good people. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I always say welcome and welcome back because I have new subscribers. Always, always. Yes, I received new subscribers from Brenda's channel and other people are coming in. So for wherever you are and wherever you're coming from, I appreciate you. I love you big time. Today, once again, we are at Rappel Center One. Now, for the new subscribers who don't know Rappel, Rappel is an organization I founded in 2011. We do a lot, a lot for our country, Uganda. I'm based in East Africa, Uganda. We do um, child sponsorship program, youth empowerment, um, Child sponsorship program, youth empowerment, uh, school programs, yeah, quite a lot. I think if you have not watched my old videos, please endeavor to go and watch my old 
videos yeah people i told you we have guests and i'm gonna be continuing with this now one of the chairmen have just arrived one of the guests have just arrived so i think this is gonna be their yeah, seat well. put it right brenda put it right people did you know that brenda is also in uganda <laughs> most of you have seen brenda online brenda just came in one 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 week ago from dubai right brenda say hello to my people hello guys how are you doing i mean i always call my my doctor yeah I always that my doctor so i'm i'm happy to be in his youtube channel i don't know why she calls me my doctor <laughs> i prefer to be called dr tash or dr. tash or tash tash dr. is my name tash. yes is my love is my sister is my everything in life <laughs> oh my god it's very amazing yeah. and uh, yeah we have a guest people so we just have to leave uh, the guest to sit better yes i'm kind of shy shy uh you know when you are alone you don't not being with the too much cameras but right now uh, dr tash is uh, a youtuber his sister we are many youtubers here yes but i'm glad guys yes. chair manitula wait a minute chair too loud mutuze bulunja okumtebe yes uh-huh i'm so happy guys when while when i was in dubai i didn't have anywhere to stay uh doc, i communicate with my love my doctor and he told me that you you are, you are <laughs> doctor, leave me alone. It's not vegetable. Yeah. Eh? And no problem, Brenda. You don't want to come to my home, come to our family, to welcome me. I'm just nobody. I'm nothing. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't say that. But the that. doctor, he opened the door. He showed me love. He give me everything I want. I'm nice. not worried about anything. I eat, I drink, I sleep. <laughs> Guys, I'm here like almost like one week and uh, I have two days something i'm not worried about going our home i'm going to my family i'm treating he's treating me very well he care for me i sleep good what care is what i need okay. wi-fi i have <laughs> <laughs> that is brenda for you Thank yeah you so the bite top made yeah uh, her channel and goes for your channel uh, dubai top made yeah she says the room be brenda uh dubai top made and ever to subscribe to her channel yeah that's brenda i think i'll um i welcome brenda uh in future and then i think we shall have an interview they'll get to know who brenda is who's brenda who's you know whatever the case may be okay so um wait a minute tanya take over your job <laughs> bye take over your job Okay, so that was Brenda people. Mm -hmm. uh, let them see what is going on. So, Rappo So, if you really want to know what Rappo is all about, go back in my old videos, watch. Watch each and every video, you'll understand what Rappo is all about. Okay, yeah, so this is our um, headquarters. We have a branch in Lira, we have a branch in Gusheng, we have a branch uh, in Kenya in a place called Kisumu. You've seen Kisumu children, women doing quite a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, and then we have also in Mombasa, by the way, yeah, we have a branch there and we sponsor some children in Mombasa. I'm looking forward to show you these other places when I go there. But for now, we are at Rapa Center One, enjoying our guests who came from uh, United States and India. These are sponsors. And then you've seen Brenda from Dubai. We have our chairman around here also. Show him. <laughs> and us in Uganda. Yeah, that's our chairman in Uganda. We have Pastor yes. uh, Prose here. We have Pastor Sarah over Le there. Let me zoom high. Yes. Mm. So, uh, so we are in preparations. A few, you know, a few minutes from now, it's gonna be mercy. mercy. People have started coming. We are not too many though. Yeah, but still, we're gonna be enjoying. I'll see you later. I'm here. I'm here. My mom looks so beautiful. They are seated in a gomez. Let's enjoy. Uh, 
Uh, in my organization, we teach children how to sing. We have a sports academy as well. So uh, we tried at least to promote the children's talents. Yeah, you know, uh, in Africa or basically in Uganda, let me speak uh, for Uganda, I think, and Kenya, because this is where our programs are. Yeah, so uh, some of them don't have the money to pay for academies, yeah, music academies or sports academies. So uh, we endeavor to come up with programs so that we can support them yeah so they if you need to play a band there you are if you need to uh, we can yeah we can teach you how to play a band as well if you need to learn how to sing uh, or dance you know do anything uh, for your talent we can do that so i'm just so happy whenever i'm uh, i'm i'm making a voice over but i feel like i'm just enjoying that music right there it feels good you know to see all your energy where it's going that you invest in these girls and boys okay so uh, that's uh, that that song in the background they are playing it's a, a rapper song and i composed it in 2011 when my organization had just started and then we have also a rapper anthem which you're going to be enjoying very soon i think uh, let me give you time to enjoy the rapper anthem i write all our songs in my organization because i'm partly a singer a writer and an author so enjoy please just enjoy this My lovely viewers, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my organization members and everyone around. I don't take you for granted. Until next time, let's meet in my next one. See you.